everybody and welcome to a new series on the mod pack Stacia Expert. And in this episode, we explore this village that we spawn the next two and we do a bit of mining. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, here we are. Brand new mod pack. Stacia Expert Mode. Yes, Stacia Expert Mode, which is the mod pack that won the poll during the live stream. I'll put the results of that uh, poll now up on the stream screen so you can see. So this pack is an expert mode pack. So we have a lot, and I mean like a lot of recipe changes that will make the pack 10 times harder than it normally would be. Uh, an example of that would be a furnace. We need to make a wooden furnace, which quite, it has to go through a whole process. Like, everything is not as simple as it seems. Like, what even is that mechanism stuff? Like, how hard is a mechanism metallurgic infuser? Like, just, oh my god. I didn't even actually look at these recipes yet. These things are going to be insane to have to try and work through. But that's the whole beauty of this pack. It's going to be fun to try and automate everything. So... The first things we need to do is, of course, look at our quests, and we have here all of our quests. We have Welcome to the Game, which is to collect 32 of any type of wood, and collect, and you'll get 48 planks. We need to make ourselves a crafting table, and we'll get a hand handheld crafting table as a reward. We have to go through all the Tinker's things. Work into here, it tells us that there is ore excavation in here, so we can actually excavate. It says press C to use the ore excavation here, but I've rebound that to my thumb button 5, and... Um, but when I actually went into my controls, it actually was not bound for some reason. So I don't know, it's telling me here it's C, but for me it wasn't actually bound. So, I uh, complete that, and then we can go into using crates, so early game storage. Thanks for voiding items that were mining. Slime boots, uh, if we can find a slime island around, I don't actually see one here. But then we can actually get into simple ore doubling. I hope this is ore doubling, because it says a basic crusher, and I'm guessing we can crush ores down... And then, actually, does it actually make it into double? To ore chunks into... Okay, yes. So it definitely does ore double. So we can just put that into a furnace and smelt it up. And it looks like we could even get into some so early game power using some solar panels. This thing generates one FT FE a tick. Uh, but we can upgrade all the way up to, like, tier 5. And then once we complete all these quests, we can get into uh, some t uh, mechanism. So that should be the best part. So in here, you can see, here's all the quests we have. We have uh, Immersive Engineering. Then we have uh, uh, Botania. We got ourselves some Blood Magic. Some Astral Sorcery. All of our Mechanism Machinery. We even got the Angel Ring so we can do some creative flight. And we have some Mechanism Armor. So we wanted to actually turn into Iron Man as it says there. Uh, we have this like clock timed one. I don't know what it is. We have the option to do Refined Storage or... We can do Applied Energistics. I'm probably going to ignore Applied Energistics and only work on Refined Storage uh, because that's like the best one to use for automation, that reasons. We got ourselves Thermal Series in here. So we can go through all the different things like making uh, all the different, um, what's it called? The Merce uh, Smelter thing. I'm actually forgetting the name of the smelter. Induction Smelter, that's it. How did I forget the name of that? I've been using the thing like a couple of uh, in the last series. Uh, we got ourselves power, so we can upgrade um, to wireless power transfer, and we've also got the extra solar panels here. We got ourselves uh, industrial four going, so we can do some ore laser drills. We can do some mob farms and other cool stuff, even like animal farms if we wanted to. We got um, what's this mod called again? Environmental tech, so we can set up void miner, so we can just mine up resources, and if anything's to go by in all the mod six to the sky. This thing is overpowered once you get to the last tier. And then, last but not least, the creative items section. So, we have the extended crafting, and here's all our creative items we can make. We can make ourselves mana tablets, everlasting guilty pools, creative energy cells, creative storage, fluid tanks, which is the one thing I'm actually excited to try and use. Because fluid tanks, any resource you put in here will become infinite. So, we have to be careful on which one we choose, what liquid we need. Um, so we can work on that, but the crafting recipes, this is the thing I'm most excited for. Look at these crafting recipes. If we look at all the crafting recipes in here, we've got 13 ultimate ones. Here's the recipe for the ultimate ingot. This 
is going to be so difficult to try and work on, but it's going to be so fun to try and automate all this stuff to be created. Like creative essence, you have to go through this whole process of insanium. So we're going to have to set up the world's largest mystical agriculture farm. And we even need to go through the whole polonium section through uh, me mechanism reactors. That's going to be fun. Then we have this thing, which is the endiest ender pearl, which is for the sky, which allows us to make an energy condenser because Project E is in here. We can condense any resource we want then as well. If we want diamond blocks, we can get diamond blocks. No problem. But, oh, and here's like the tablet. Look at what this thing needs for the creative mana tablet. Here's the everlasting guilty pool. What's the difference? It's just fabulous mana pools instead of mana tablets that are full. And here's the creative energy cell, which are going to need these ultimate solar panels. That's pretty cool. Like, oh my god, like, uwu terium. That's going to be so fun to make. And then you have the flower of the stone. Uh, I don't know why this recipe is actually so complicated. And then we have creative vending, so we can vend out whatever an infinite of items that we need. And yeah, so they're all like the main things we're going to be aiming for in this pack. Creating all the creative items automating as much stuff as we can and that rat is having the time of his life oh he's embarrassed now <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is of course collect some wood i went on too long about explaining the thing about this pack but it's the first episode so we'll explain oh yeah and if you press v you can change the shape of your excavation the same way f to be ultimine was you hold shift and scroll well this you press v or you can open the menu you have a menu here now the default button is m but I've rebounded it to J because I wanted my mini map to be on M so I can open this and see everything. And actually one thing cool about the journey map is we can actually auto map the area around us to see what's missing or what's nearby. So you can see it'll auto map the surface and it will scan everything that's around us. So like, look how much area we have. Like there's a big hole right here apparently. Uh, cave entrances over here. There's cave entrances right there. There's actually loads of cave entrances around. There is a... Oh, it doesn't actually work when you zoom in for some reason. I said to say all, but whatever. But yeah, so let's head over here to the village and see. We might need to get some food so we can grab some of these hay bales here. There we go. And when our vein miner mining up all these is not a problem. And let's mine down this tree because we actually haven't gotten enough wood just yet. There we are. And now we need to pick a house to live in. Oh, we got ourselves a waystone. Uh, we activate. We can activate that and then use this to teleport anywhere around. Wow, I spent so long explain, explaining that it's now turning nighttime. Well, good thing we have a village and we have beds, but I'm just going to quickly name this village Village. There we go. So now we can always teleport back if we need to. Uh, let me find a house and sleep in it. Has this guy got a bed? No, you are different. You are like a some sort of wood woodworking house or a butcher's house. Is this fruit house got a bed? Yes, it does. I uh, can't sleep just yet. There we go. Now we can sleep. All right, here we go. So we've got ourselves an immersive engineering house here. You can tell it's immersive engineering because of all the treated wood. So we got ourselves some aluminium rods, uh, iron mechanical components, engineer's blueprints, which is specialized projectiles. And I don't think there's actually anything else really up here, except for like a lantern, which is nice. Uh, what else have we got up here? We've got ourselves just a standard house. We've got some iron ore in the wall here, which is kind of nice. We can use that. Uh, what other houses do we have over here? We got plain houses. Um, this house looks interesting. We've got something here. Uh, this house has a ladder going up. And there's nothing special in here. We could turn this into our house, our temporary house for now. Uh, what's over here? What are you? What, what, what job do you have? You are... Oh, you're the machinist from Immersive Engineering. And there's a cat up here. Wait. I was just coming back down and this villager is trapped in here on his own. Well, that's good to know that he can stay in there and be safe. Um, Damn, we've actually got a, quite a bit of view from here. So we got like what looks like a lavender field. And I think that's barley. So we've actually got quite a bit of stuff here. It's a really nice location. Um, Maybe I should turn this house into my house. I should probably stop taking that much damage. Right, let's get to work on... Oh. Okay, so planks don't make four. It only makes two. 
So the plank generation has been cut in half. So that means we only get uh, half the amount of wood. But we get the same amount of sticks by the looks of it. Let's go back to the first thing. Brand new world. And we can claim our wood request. And in here, we can make ourselves a crafting table. So crafting table it is. There we go. And that will get us a handheld crafting table. And if we wanted to, we can upgrade this crafting table into the Tinker's Construct one. So we just make ourselves some blank patterns. Make a few more of them. And then put that on top. Make the crafting station. And then we can make ourselves the next one, which is the part builder. And then we need to actually put down this crafting table to make the next one, which is the tool station. There we go. Tool station. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to move this. Tinker's tool station. Uh, you can go... Hmm, I'm trying to figure this out. So if I put the part builder right here, put the tool station there, the crafting table there, and we make ourselves the chest. Actually, how do I make that chest again? The part chest. Oh, okay. So I need an actual chest. And then I upgrade that chest by... Uh, it's not going to show... Wait, did that show me there? Oh, it's the same there. Okay, so sticks on the side, planks, and then this guy on top. Part chest. There we go. I can put this guy here. So this should be everything a part of this quest now. So we got some more blank patterns. But I'm not going to make Tinker's Tools. Uh, we're going to... Oh, this actually works as a chest end as well. I forgot about that. We're going to use Silent Gear to get started. Just as a basic tools to, Because we don't actually... I want to make a Tinker's Construct Smeltery before I actually work on making better tools. So what do we get? We got ourselves a sword, an axe, pretty much all your basic tools. And we even got a shield. That'd be cool. So let's grab out the sword... The pickaxe and the axe and shovel. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves some tools. Uh, so let's make ourselves some sticks. There we go. And let me get out the uh, wheat hay bale so I can turn it into bread. There we go. 30 bread. That should be good. Right. So tools. Um, I'm going to make myself a wooden pickaxe first. And then I'm going to go mine some stone. And then I'll come back and make myself an actual um, stone tool. So if we come up here. We can actually mine a bit of stone. Just grab three pieces of cobblestone. That should be enough. There we are. We'll come back down here. Oh, there's another crate outside. Uh, oh, we have three. We have four iron. We don't even have to make a stone pickaxe. We can make ourselves straight into an iron pickaxe. So iron across the top. Make ourselves an iron pickaxe, and we can recraft it to make it a silent gear pickaxe, which is pretty good. Uh, let's just put all this away because we don't have enough iron just yet. So let me go up here and mine this iron though, or I could kill him if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave him there just as a bit of protection for myself. Oh, butamin. What's this give? This gives butamin, and this can be used as a coal. So it pretty much smells the same thing as coal. That's good. It's actually really good to know. Um, can I pick this up? Because I know there is like... No, I can't. Okay. There is a mod in here that allows you to pick up stuff. Um, yeah, like I can pick up an... And oh my god, that was loud. Uh, right, we need to make ourselves a furnace actually now. Uh, which, if we remember at the start, the furnace was a little bit complicated. So I'm going to grab myself a little bit more wood. And let's get to work on making ourselves a wooden furnace to actually make the actual regular furnace. So, the plate requires a pair of wooden shears, which is four planks and a stick. There we go. Then combine that with some planks. Let's just get some more planks here. Combine that with a plank to make a plate. And then I surround the plate in the logs or in the planks. That makes a wooden furnace. And then we can smelt some cobblestone. Because I think it said I need stone bricks. Yep. Uh, I need to actually go get a little bit more cobblestone. So I'm going to take this wooden pickaxe and use up its durability by vein mining out the wall here. Oh, and we found some copper. Right, so we got 60 cobblestone. That's pretty good. So let's put this in here. We just need to smelt four of it. Uh, can I turn this into tiny coal? No, I can't. Okay. Because I know tiny coal is in here. Oh, it's called a coal piece. There we go. Yeah, you can see one coal makes eight coal. And uh, the one thing warning about this furnace is it says that it can catch on fire. Um, so I'm kind of hoping I can smelt the last one before that happens. Um, please don't burn my house down. So let's see. If we go to quests here, we can check this box. And then we have to make ourselves a stone machine frame. All right, let's pick this up before anything happens. There we are. So... Turn the stone into stone brick. And then a bit of cobblestone. Surround with that. That makes us a stone furnace. And now we can continue smelting. Let's start smelting down this iron. 
And if we have a look in here, we can make ourselves a hot dog, which we can eat, which is great. But then a stone machine frame. This requires a gold plate, aluminium gear, aluminium scaffolding, and iron sheet metal. Okay. Why is it called a stone machine frame when it's all made of metal? And, okay, this is actually way more difficult than I thought it would be. I thought we might be able to start this now, this episode, but... By the looks of it, I'm guessing not. And this one is going to require redstone alloy. Oh my god, they didn't call this pack expert for no, for no apparent reason. This is a difficult pack already. So, any bronze... Oh, we have to go into smelt... Or, alloying already. So... Alloy smelter is going to require tin, stone machine frames. So pretty much all we have to do is go mining. And uh, we're already halfway through the episode already. So I guess let's just get ourselves our tools ready and let's go mining for a bit. Let's, make our, let's make, actually make ourselves a sword now as well. So stick, sword, and then two iron ingots to make ourselves a stone, an iron sword. And then I think we can actually combine the ingots in our inventory to repair our tools. Yes, okay, I'm not going to do that just yet because it's still full. Uh, let me break this crate because I want to move it inside so I can use this as extra storage. The thing about these crates is they actually hold their inventory. So you know what, actually? I might actually take one with me. If I make myself just a regular chest, uh, two regular chests I probably should make, put these here and empty this crate and put all the stuff in here. Take this crate, and I can use this to store stuff if in case my inventory gets full when down in the mine. Now, if we have a look at the map here, we want to have a look at some cave entrances. Now, it looks like there's plenty of cave entrances over here, so I say we should probably go have a look at them. Let's actually eat the hot dog. It's pretty good food. There we go. And, yeah, let's go over here and have a look. All right, so here's the first cave entrance. Uh, anything in this way? Uh, nope, this is just a dead... Wait, there might be something up here. Is this a dead end or is it an actual cave? No, it's just a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. Except for having skeletons and stuff in it. Uh, make sure my thing is set to none so I can mine up all the coal. So there's nothing in this cave so we can overlook this one. Uh, oh, there's no brick there. Wait, I think that's actually a spawner. I know that from Apotheosis. Oh, we have a spider spawner. Okay. Uh, cracked stone brick. Let's make sure we get rid of that. I don't actually want to break this. Um, let me try something. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, this is game breaking. I just picked up a spawner. Um, yeah, that mod I was saying that you could pick up stuff. It didn't work on the crates, but it, you saw me pick up the anvil earlier. I can do this with spawners. This is amazing. I can actually make myself a mob spawner right now if I wanted to. Uh, it's probably actually good I'm coming back now because it is turning nighttime. Um, so let me put this down in the house next door or something. Uh, or maybe just put it down outside here. I don't actually want to lose this. So maybe I will put it up in the wall over here. I don't have torches though. Maybe I should make some torches first. Got some sticks and combine that with the coal. And now we can pick this up and light it up. And we put that there. Oh, it already spawned a spider. That was quick. I literally just put it down and spawned a spider. Oh, God, it's spawning multiple of them. Go away, please. I need to stop this thing now. All right, that should disable it and it shouldn't spawn any more mobs. Let me just light up around here so nothing else surprises me. And let me go to sleep. Right, new day. Let's actually go back over because I actually did not check that chest where the spawner was. And if the caves aren't good, we'll just make our own one. And we'll probably call it there then. So it looks like there is a few ores in down here. So we got some iron, copper, and bismuth. Okay, I don't know what bismuth is for. We got some more coal. Nice. Uh, this looks like... Oh, okay, there, down there might be a good place to go. Uh, what's over here? Uh, we got some uranite from Power. Uh, we got some more iron. Tin. Okay, tin something we need. We got ourselves a lot of coal. Some more tin. Should probably be lighting up this as place as I go. Let me put this in my offhand so I can light up this place. Oh, we found ourselves a zombie. Um, yeah. Ooh, a wilder a wilden. 
Okay, he didn't do anything bad. That... I'm kind of just lighting up the entire place first, and then I'll come back and mine everything. A skeleton with a backpack. Oh, I need to get out of here. I need to go run, 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 run. I do not have the health to fight that many mobs. There's like two creepers, a spider. And oh my god, the zombies now. Okay, it doesn't look like um, anything else is coming. Wait, except for you. Let me eat first. Don't kill me. Am I okay? All right, let me just mine back from over here and then let's go check out that chest. Oh, I think that spider's on, or skeleton's on his way. Yep, I can hear him. He's like right around the corner there. Actually, he sounds like he's over there. Oh, wait, the cave loops back around under here, doesn't it? Right. Sure, I don't die to a creeper now. Oh, no, you're a different skeleton. Oh, God, I don't have the... Okay, uh... He actually has a lot more health than I thought he would. He has over 30 health. Um, a regular skeleton should only have 20. So, this isn't great. Uh, I ran out of building blocks, so I had to use some ore. All right, let's see if I can get him. He's taking very, very little damage. Uh, this ain't good. He is taking little to no damage. And I'm stuck in here now. I'm gonna eat this miniature red heart. It will restore all my health. Well, nearly all my health. Uh, I'm gonna dig this way. Try and go around him. Or if I can actually go underneath him. Where is he? Oh, he's there, isn't he? Okay, this might work. If he doesn't shoot, we might be okay. Almost dead now. Please drop your backpack. That, for all my work, you didn't drop your backpack. I'm so sad. After all that, he didn't even drop his backpack. At least now we don't have to worry too much about the skeleton. Oh my god, that was a lot of coal. Yeah, we're already level 14. And I barely even mined anything yet. Wait, emerald? Yellow, right? Uh, am I under the mountain? I am under the mountain. Damn, emerald. Can I make emerald tools? <gasps> I can. How good is an emerald sword, actually? Like... Is emerald tools any better than just regular diamond, or are they better? Oh, wait, no, the cyclic ones. 10 attack damage. So an emerald sword from Pickle Tweaks is 8. And a diamond sword from cyclic is 8.5. Okay, it's better to make it from cyclic, but I'm guessing their recipes are exactly the same. Yeah, they are. This one has a durability of... It doesn't actually say i have to turn on tool tips i want to see that but even just having the option to make emerald stuff is actually pretty good because i can get emeralds very easily from the villagers in the village i'm at so i can make myself like a full set of emerald armor if i wanted to which actually might not be a bad idea to try and go for next episode to start trading with a bunch of a villagers i might actually do that in between episodes now just set up or go farming all the villagers' farms and or even collect all the hay bales around and just trade it back to a farmer and just get enough emerald to make myself a set of armor. I wouldn't say that'd be a bad idea. Emerald armor seems like it'd be a really good thing to have. Um, Right, my pickaxe is about to break and I didn't bring the iron ore with me. Um, So I'm guessing I'm going to have to head back up now. Wait, am I already at y enough Y level to actually find lapis? Another skeleton? Okay, at least they're not like an impossible skeleton like the other guy was. Uh, I think it's about time I probably head back up. Let me just grab this lapis. And this osmium. Because then we can start working on other machinery if we can. The copper's good. The silver's good. The only thing I'm missing right now is gold. 
Uh, I think I need to go a little bit deeper to find some gold. And I don't know where that zombie is. And I don't like it. Oh, okay, so my pickaxe is broke now. So let's head back up and check out that chest. And then we'll probably call it there. We'll head back home. Is it night time? Nope, it's daytime. Right, that chest was just up here to the left, right? Uh, yep, there it is. Alright, so what's it we have? We got ourselves a d diamond helmet. Some iron boots that have increased enchantability by eight. Oh, we have our gold now. Okay, so this is actually good. Let me put down this crate so I can actually store all this stuff. I'm actually going to put on the armor pieces now. So the helmet has 5.8. So that's better than the regular diamond helmet. Is it? Diamond. The regular diamond helmet is three. This is five. Um, It's got two diamond armor pieces, which is standard. And it's got three extra hearts. So this will give me more health. That's actually pretty good. And right, let's pick up this crate and then empty the rest of that chest and then head back. So we got ourselves two spider spawners and a name tag, which isn't that bad. And wait, the name tag has EMC, so we can actually duplicate it later on if we make an energy condenser. All right, nearly home now. So let's check and probably start smelting up all of our resources now. So we got that. Let's start smelting up. Um, I actually don't know what to start smelting. Should I start smelting more iron? Yeah, actually, I kind of want to save and only smelt as much as I actually need before I need to duplicate. Because this guy requires sheet metal. That's going to require two iron per thing. So four iron per uh, two sheet metal. So I'm going to need about eight to make one sheet metal. Okay. We need aluminium, which is an aluminium rod, which is more iron. Okay, I'm just going to smelt like half a stack of this iron and then leave it at that. Because the amount of iron we're going to find in the world is actually going to be ridiculous. Like the amount of ores that we saw just down there alone is more than enough than we probably ever would need. All right, let me repair my pickaxe and, and just move this anvil so I can continue. And I should be able to access this guy a little bit easier. The anvil can go under the stairs here. Right. Put the iron away. And yeah. So that's pretty much it for this episode. All we did really was just find a little house. Start mining. And yeah. So... I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you all in the next episode, so without further ado, goodbye.